How much C60 in olive oil should I take? Hi, my name is Chris Burris, and I'm one of the owners of SES Research. We have been delivering commercial quantities of carbon nanomaterials to research institutions around the world since 1991. We are referenced, and we provided the material that was used in the peer-reviewed published research out of the University of Paris that proved our product extended the life of test subjects, in this case Wistar rats, by 90%. And this video answers one of our frequently asked questions. Before I answer how much C60 in olive oil should I take, it is important to understand that C60 is for industrial applications, and there is peer-reviewed published research that proves when C60 is improperly processed, it is harmful. ESS60 is C60 that has been processed for safer human consumption. Since we are talking about consuming C60, for the remainder of this video, I will refer to the safer, for human consumption version, ESS60. How much should you take depends on a couple of factors. One, your weight. We actually have a more accurate serving size calculator on our website. Just go to SESRES.com, go to the ESS60C60 menu, and at the bottom of that menu, you will find our serving size calculator. I will also include a link in the notes below. The next factor to consider is where you are in your saturation cycle. What is a saturation cycle, you ask? So in the original study, the rats that were given our product, really the ESS60 in olive oil formulation, those rats were given extra doses at the beginning of the study. And so there's some thought that it's worth saturating your body with ESS60 when you first start taking the product. If you're taking a saturation serving, then it really should be double your normal serving size. And we recommend that you do this for about 30 days. So typically we recommend around five mils. So if you're during your saturation phase, for the first 30 days, you really want to be taking about 10 mils or two teaspoons per day. Again, if you're in your saturation phase, you can take maybe five mils in the morning, which is one teaspoon, and another five mils or one teaspoon for lunch. Real quickly, I would like to share my routine. We have three products. We've got an olive oil product with the highest concentration of ESS60, an MCT product with the lowest concentration of ESS60, and an avocado oil product whose concentration sits right in the middle. My routine consists of one and a half teaspoons of our MCT product with one and a half teaspoons of ghee in my coffee. This is kind of like a bulletproof coffee experience except with our powerful molecule ESS60. Then while I'm making my coffee, I have one and a half teaspoons of our olive oil product. Finally, for lunch, I use our avocado product mixed with balsamic vinegar on my salad. So just to repeat, once you are out of your saturation phase, our customers typically take five mils or one teaspoon every day. It's best to make this part of your breakfast routine. And again, this depends on your weight. So visit our serving size calculator at our website SESRES.com. Thank you for listening. Now do me a small favor. Please make sure you subscribe and follow below. We'll talk to you soon.